how to add color variants in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add a variation for uh, colors on your products. It is very simple and easy to do. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will see the results. Now the first thing that you have to do is to go to shopify.com then you have to set up the account of your Shopify store then you are going to the product section. Here in this tutorial we are going to use two method. The integrated method within the Shopify product editor and an external integration or app that we are going to install from the app store of Shopify then we will automate the process. Now let's go ahead and add a product. Let's go and add a product from scratch. Here I am going to put a title. Let's go ahead and put t-shirt for example. And for the description, I am not going to take too long to make this. I will uh, only put a description. For the photo, I am going to upload a photo. For a product, let's go ahead and share, search for, for example, a hoodie or a t-shirt or whatever. Now I am going to select, uh, let's go ahead and select this, this one. This is a sweater. Now for this I am going to switch the uh, category for sweaters like this and for the pricing I have to put the pricing for example $15.99 and here the inventory you have to put the inventory it is up to you track the quantity you can put the location for example this is my location I'm going to put it 9999 uh, here the weight it is up to you to choose whatever you have and for the most important part the variants I am going to add options like color material size or uh, you can see the style I'm going to select color here on the option values you have to select or write the color that you are going to put for example let's go ahead and put yellow like this let's name it yellow now I am going to add multiple variants for the color. I am going only to click uh, on this add another value. Click on here and then I will write for example black. And it will show up another case is just in case if you want to add more colors. I am adding another value white. Let's go ahead and add another uh, value which is the last one. I'm going to put for example purple purple or let's put it gray gray like this and we are done once you finish up the colors you are going to click on done then here you can see we have the variants when you want to preview these all you have to do is to click on save then you will see the product on the store. I'm going to click on view. And here, I, as you can see here, we have the color right right here. You have the, the yellow, the black, the white, the gray. Now this is for the method of the uh, integrated uh, variance color on a Shopify. I forgot to mention that you can also put the variance photos for the colors that you have. For example, let's go ahead and add some variance uh, photos for the colors. Let's go ahead with this black. For example, I can add an image from my computer to this part. I am going to select this. Let's say that this is a uh, black color I'm going to upload this then I will click simply on done and for the gray I'm going to add another photo of a gray um, pullover or a gray uh, let's go ahead and search, search for the sweater this is a gray one now I'm going to put this as a gray color photo and click on done Simply click on save and then I will let you preview the result. When you click on black, it will change the color. But for the yellow, it will be uh, clicking on standard. For the white, we don't have a color. And for the gray, it will change the, uh, the image. That was for the first method. Now let's go ahead and select the second method, which is global or glow. Let's go ahead uh, with glow color. 
type only uh, here on glow color on the search bar I am going to click on search in Shopify App Store and I will you let you see everything that we have on the Shopify App Store we have this we have multiple integration or application but the favorite one for me which is a built-up uh, app for Shopify this is it glow color swatch variant image this is uh, the uh, application that I'm going to install and use we have a free plan that we can use I am only clicking on install then it will be uh, redirecting us to the uh, installation page of the app I will simply click on install and we will be good to go this is another easy method that we can see right here I am going to put uh, or refresh the page now as you can see it will be right here global color swatches or swatch I'm going to click or select the option of continue as free this is uh, continue as free we have up to 100 product this is the uh, thing that we are going to put now the um, the app embed we are going to select the live theme that we have for me I have this craft live theme I will go to go to editor or the uh, website editor then I will enable the app so it will show up for the product now I will wait for the editor to load up and let us see the enabling button it is an embed app for this this is the uh, global color swatch it is enabled as you can see right here and we will see it later for the demonstration I will click on save then I will go back to this one with the personalization the option I will click save first then we have to sync our online store I'm going to sync our online store simply by clicking on this it will take a moment to sync then everything will be good here we have the option we have the size I'm going to put the size uh, button or the size showing uh, products off the surface I am going only to let the color here I title choice box this is uh, here for you for this one uh, I will let the white the yellow also the style I am going to put all these right here we have the color now I'm going to switch off everything right here and let only the color I'm going to click right here the display style we have color or custom image swatch automated variant image swatch we have to upgrade to a higher brand to get this feature we have a button we have drop down list variant image swatches with price color custom swatches with price I'm going to let it color or custom watches uh, image swatch I'm clicking on configure right here it is uh, loading the colors now we have the white one I am going to let it right here we have the white product for the blue uh, right here I'm going to uh, for, let's go ahead and put the gray we don't have a blue color I'm going to put a gray color let's go ahead and put this for example this is something looks like gray we have a black one let's go ahead and put this black uh, not the beige but this one uh, we don't have a let's go ahead with uh, those two colors now we have these two colors simply when you uh, uh, finish this process you are going to select the item and also you will see the preview of the color right here now we can also add another color you can put another color for for example you have a gradient for the gray you can put another color it is up to you and you have to uh, enable it now for the upload file you can go ahead and upload a file or you can go and put an image in place of the color now when you finish everything here you have to click on save then every, everything will be in order right here I'm going to pin it this to my navigator then I will click on settings and as you can see here we have the uh, the button and everything that concerns the but uh, the uh, app of the color swatch you can choose ahead a setting and you can modify it and I will simply uh, see the appearance product 
here we have the preview we have the colors for example and we have the buttons these are the buttons for example you can add a picture to make it like this or you can put it empty and put only the color right here now we have the swatch type we have a circle a square or a fit text I'm going to put the square you have the swatch size you can put it smaller or you can put it bigger it is up to you for the swatch spacing you can put it uh, spaced or you can put a narrow space between them for this also the swatch border style we have a double we have a single or we have none is up to you we have also the thickness you can adjust the thickness swatch border color it is up to you you can put whatever you want right here from the hover the selected and the normal we have the hover effect you can put a glow for it or you can put a shadow for example you can put a glow like this this is the glow or you can put a shadow to let it be highlighted and we have uh, you can show also the number of uh, in stock item i'm going to put it as disabled and for the align content you can put it right here you can put center you can put right or you can put it left i'm going to put it center like this and we will be good to go everything that you have say, uh, done you are going to click on save here for the button we have a multiple option choices for the buttons you can go ahead and put a button or for the drop down you can put right here you have the drop down menu if you have chosen the drop down now i am going to see the product that we have and we will be back as you can see right now we have the two buttons we have the black button and the gray button as we have uh, added to the app that was very simple and easy to do uh, that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you on the next one